I am a lover of books and translation, so I read quite a lot of translated fiction and I'd love to read a lot more translated non-fiction as well. So I love books and translation and there's a number of reasons for this. First of all, it allows you to explore different cultures across the world, from Iceland to Egypt to Japan and beyond. You can enter a bookshop and find a whole range of genres and stories and books and translation just add colour to this landscape. Languages that we don't understand and cultures that we're unfamiliar with and abstract ideas and notions that were once unclear can become clear through translation. Translated books allow us to see the world or a story through the eyes of someone who is from somewhere completely different in the world and that to me is amazing. I've grown up in the UK my entire life and I notice such a distinct difference between the books from people that are from the UK and people that are from across the world. There's something very different about it, whether it's European, Asian or whatever. There's something really unique about each of the books that I've read that have been translated. There's something different in the language, there's something different in the story, there's something different in the characters. Everything seems just a little bit more unique and I love that. Translated books bring new ideas into language. It's fascinating to think about the role of interpretation when it comes to translating books. And I love thinking about translation almost as an art within itself. Ultimately, books and translation build a more diverse landscape in literature. And it's one that I hope to continue to explore. I want to share with you some books that I have on my shelves that are in translation that I haven't actually got to yet, just to sort of share my excitement to continue to read books in translation. The first of which is The Immortalist. The author was born in Paris, so this is translated from French, and it tells the story of a man who has basically married someone more out of uh, the expectations that his father has for him than anything. And they go off on their honeymoon to Tunisia, and he encounters this young Arab boy and he becomes interested in him. So it's got these sort of LGBT themes um, and I expect that it's going to be really well written and it is a modern classic that I'm quite excited to get to. The next book I've got here is Dream Story. Um, so this was originally published in 1926 and it's translated from German. Um, so the author's from Vienna and it's also set in Vienna. I know it's somewhat of a, an erotic story, you can kind of tell that by the cover. Um, and it kind of explores Vienna's, uh, I guess, world beneath the sort of civilized society. So the kind of, uh, the more sort of seedy aspects of it. Um, but I think it's going to be a really sort of, quite strange uh, and interesting read so I'm looking forward to get to that one as well. The next book I've got here is a bit more of a recent one so this is The Gravity of Love. Now this is from the author who wrote The Faculty of Dreams. I actually knew of this one before I even heard of The Faculty of Dreams and I read The Faculty of Dreams because it was long listed for the Man Booker International Prize um, and having read that I'm even more excited for this one now. Um, so this is set in a psychiatric hospital. Um, her writing's very sort of lyrical and poetic and I think the combination of that uh, and the setting is going to be really interesting. Um, so this is translated from Swedish and I am very very excited for this one as well. I also want to broaden my horizons even within reading translated fiction because I know I read quite a lot of European literature and that's just because I really like it um, but I kind of want to go further afield. Um, so if you've got any recommendations for books um, both within Europe and outside of Europe um, I'd love to hear them uh, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on any books that you've read in translation and really loved as well.